approach, praising the dog when it does right. So Ian with his young dog, Jill, just keeping her happy, playing about a little bit. We've seen earlier on how he got it to sit. This time we want the little dog to sit and wait. We know it'll fetch a ball, we know it'll fetch a dummy, but we don't want it to keep running in, so he just holds it there, nice and easy. And notice how there gets her up to him. Doesn't take the ball straight away, but this handling and so forth, not to concern her, not to worry her, but there. Look how she watches that, that tail going, really wants to go, he just holds her there, and then lets her go and a clear signal fetch it. Keeps down low all the time, keeps his body low to the ground, and there's little Jill, she's enjoying that. He's not worrying about it, he's not making an issue out of it. Not panicking, just waiting till she gets it right. And there. Fetch it. Happy little dog. Keeps her bouncy, keeps happy. He stands up that time. He found that getting down to the floor made her flop about a little bit, made her roll onto her back. So he stands up a little bit, just to keep her coming in and standing upright herself. And that's nicer, that's nicer. At this stage, we're not too worried about sitting and staying and holding the ball. We wanna get the dog riding close to our body. So little Jill there, just being held, sent for that, nice clean pick up and back again. And Ian just say, no, come on in. Trying to get her close to his body. Stands up, backs away. Brings her in close. With a little Jill, Ian's been holding the dog and not allowing her to run in. And now he's going to say, no, you sit and stay there. And he's going to, uh, uh. Notice how he just stepped in front. He's put himself in a position where he can stop the little dog running after that ball. He's saying, no, you sit, you stay. And he'll walk back and pick that up himself. I can retrieve just as well as you can. So the little dog being made to sit there, made to wait there, and he goes back and praises. That was good, that was all right. So again, sit there. Watch how he puts himself between the dog and the ball. Fetch it. And this time allows the little dog to have a retrieve. So all the time, he's trying to put the dog in a position where it can only do right. But if it does right, he can praise it. If it does wrong, he can stop it before it gets into any really serious trouble. And this time the little dog's beginning to learn and saying, yeah, I know, sit, stay, I'm waiting. I'll wait until you told, tell me to go. And there it is, nice clear signal. Now you can fetch it and bring it back. And notice still happy. Not a dog that's going out worried and lacking in confidence, but a dog that's going out knowing exactly what's required. So Ian stands between the dog and the ball. If the little dog had moved this time, he could have stood in front of her, but he goes back and he praises her. He says, no, that's exactly what I want. Everything done calmly, everything done quietly, taking his time. Not letting the dog anticipate or guess exactly what it wants. Will he pick the ball or will the dog be sent for it? In this case, Ian sends the little dog, sends Jill for it. Then as she comes back, praises her, pleased with her, and say how she's still bouncing, stale still going. So Ian here with little Jay, walking on the lead, okay, a sit. She says, what the heck's that whistle? One whistle, sit, sh, sit, sh, sit. She understands the word sit, but the whistle confused her a little bit. So it goes along, whistle, sit. There we go, just a little tug. Good girl, good girl. We're doing things in gradual steps. She knows the word sit, so we associate the whistle before the word sit comes. And in time, she'll understand the whistle, so one whistle means sit, and there he does. Just a little jerk on that lead, sit. And notice the eye contact again, keeping her attention. Little dog concentrating on Ian, watching his every move. Still happy though, tail still going. Now that's better. Says, I heard a whistle, must mean sit. And that's nice, that's nice. And again, lots of praise. So Ian now just lets the little dog off the lead and blows that whistle fairly quickly and close to her before she can get any steam up. And he just blows the whistle and catches her attention and then praises her. 
That one blast. And Jay, ah, look at that. He doesn't give her even time to get any kind of steam up. She's got to recognize that as soon as she hears one blast, down goes the bum. And there, lots of praise. There's a good girl. That's nice. He's pleased with that. You can see he's pleased with that. And you can see the little dog's pleased too. Ah, notice this time he blew it a little bit further away. Split second she ignored it and he moved towards her just that bit. Hand in the air, whistle blow again, went to her. Good girl, good girl.